So now we're going to force half guard, and our opponent's going to use their hook to try to lift this. So our approach here can be the same as with wrestling, like a shot. So we're going to have a little bit of space here. I'm going to drive, forcing our opponents back to the mat. But they were able to sneak this hook in before. I'm going to try to elevate us, lift us, hook sweep us. So for me to answer this, my hips need to stay square and flat to the mat. If I, if my, if our exact, I'm going to, let's go back a little bit. If my, if my leg is down here, he's going to hook sweep us over our knee. So first thing we need, we need to do is we need to keep this leg posted out. This can also help us to drive backwards. We're looking to keep our opponent's hook glued to his butt so that he can't really use his muscles to really elevate us and frame and create space and sweep us over. Clinch tight inside. I'm actually pushing back to, to keep my hips flat to the mat and I can sprawl out and stay in. Again, he's trying to bring us over. I'm pushing back. Staying heavy. Specifically on our opponent's femur bone. We're trying to stay heavy on here, put our hips here, square to the mat. We're pinning his back to the mat and pinning this leg to the mat. This is what we're looking. This is what we're looking for. We have our entrance. He's going to try to hook with us. Our left leg. We're going to keep sprawling back to clear this hook, and it's going to make us fall right into half guard. Next, of course, we start climbing up our opponent's upper body, bringing their arm close to their head, back to the mat, and their hips twisted to the side. They lose all of their athletic ability in this position. And then we can get our foot on top of our leg, our opponent's leg, free. Knee cut out. 